For years, Nikon has held a reputation for producing cameras that deliver exceptional image quality, particularly in the full-frame segment. The upcoming Nikon Z7 III has been the subject of intense speculation and anticipation, with photographers and content creators alike eager to see how Nikon will push the boundaries of high-resolution mirrorless technology. From whispers about groundbreaking sensors to hints of new video capabilities and enhanced autofocus, the Z7 III could become one of Nikon's most important releases in recent years. Let's break down the latest rumors, what they might mean in practice, and how this camera could shape the future of Nikon mirrorless lineup. At the heart of the Nikon Z7 III lies the sensor, a component that has always defined the Z7 series. Nikon has built its reputation around outstanding image quality, and the Z7 III looks set to push this reputation even further. The most reliable leaks currently point toward a brand new, high-resolution full-frame sensor likely in the 61 to 67 megapixel range. This places the Z7 III directly in competition with Sony's A7RV and other high-resolution rivals, solidifying its role as a powerhouse for detail-oriented photography. There are even more ambitious rumors suggesting that Nikon could experiment with a 90 megapixel variant, though this is widely seen as speculative hype rather than a realistic expectation for this generation. Regardless of the exact number, what seems more certain is that Nikon will employ a backside illuminated BSI CMOS sensor, a design well known for its ability to capture more light, improve low light performance, and preserve dynamic range even at higher ISO values. This makes it especially appealing to professionals who demand top-tier performance in diverse lighting environments. Resolution in the Nikon Z7 III isn't just about bragging rights, it carries significant practical benefits. A sensor in the 6067 MP range offers photographers tremendous flexibility. Cropping becomes a powerful tool, allowing shooters to reframe images without sacrificing detail. Large, gallery-quality prints become achievable, giving professionals confidence that their work can be displayed at the highest standards. For landscape photographers, this level of resolution means being able to capture the intricate details of foliage, textures and rock formations, or distant city skylines without the image breaking apart when zoomed in. Studio and product photographers also stand to gain, particularly in high-end commercial work where capturing every subtle nuance can make or break a project. Another exciting possibility is the rumored inclusion of pixel shift multi-shot technology. This feature captures multiple images while subtly moving the sensor and then combines them to create even higher resolution results with improved color accuracy and reduced noise. If Nikon incorporates this technology, it would send a strong message to the industry, placing the Z7 III in direct competition with Sony's A7R line and other high-resolution champions. Historically, the Z7 series has been more of a stills-focused line, but the Nikon Z7 III appears to be taking hybrid shooting much more seriously. Early leaks suggest support for 8K video recording at up to 30 frames per second and 4K recording at up to 60 frames per second, with the added bonus of 10-bit internal ProRes RAW capture. These are features typically reserved for video-centric models, so their inclusion in the Z7 III could transform the camera into a truly versatile tool for both photographers and filmmakers. Some reports even hint at 4K at 120fps, unlocking ultra-slow motion capabilities that content creators increasingly value for cinematic storytelling. Alongside this, improved in body image stabilization IBIS rated up to 8 stops could make handheld shooting smoother and more reliable, reducing reliance on gimbals or tripods. Of course, high-resolution sensors come with challenges, chief among them being heat management during extended recording sessions. Shooting 8K video generates significant heat, and Nikon may need to integrate better cooling systems to ensure reliability. Still, for many users, the simple inclusion of professional-grade internal recording formats will matter more than headline-grabbing frame rates. For hybrid creators who straddle the line between photography and videography, the Z7 III could be the all-in-one solution they've been waiting for. One of the biggest criticisms of the Z7 II was its autofocus system. While the 493-point phase detection system was competent, it lagged behind what competitors like Sony and Canon were offering. 
The Nikon Z73 is expected to retain a similar 493-point structure, but introduce AI-powered subject detection and tracking. Nikon has already demonstrated impressive autofocus improvements with the Z8 and Z9, delivering reliable tracking for people, animals, and vehicles. If these advances trickle down into the Z73, users can expect faster, smarter, and more consistent focus performance. That said, it's important to note that the Z73's primary audience, landscape, studio, and fine art photographers prioritize accuracy and consistency over sheer speed. While the rumored 20 FPS burst shooting is certainly impressive, most users of this camera are more concerned with precise focus lock and reliability in challenging lighting conditions. In this sense, Nikon's focus on AI-driven accuracy could prove more valuable than raw speed. One of the most intriguing rumors surrounding the Nikon Z73 is the inclusion of a 3.2-inch 4-axis tilting touchscreen LCD. This design would be a welcome upgrade for photographers who frequently shoot at unconventional angles, whether capturing landscapes from ground level or shooting overhead in crowded environments. Compared to fully articulating screens, which some still photographers find cumbersome, a four-axis tilt offers more stability and faster handling, particularly for stills-oriented work. It strikes a balance between flexibility and practicality, catering to the Z73's target audience of detail-focused professionals. Another hot topic is memory card support. While some leaks suggest Nikon may opt for dual UHS 2 SD card slots instead of faster CF Express cards, this decision has sparked debate. CF Express offers blazing speeds, making it ideal for sports shooters and heavy video workflows. However, UHS-2 cards are far more affordable, widely available, and still plenty capable for high-resolution stills and moderate video. If Nikon is positioning the Z73 as a more accessible alternative to the Z8, prioritizing workflow convenience and affordability makes sense. Conclusion: The upcoming Nikon Z73 isn't just another camera. It represents Nikon's chance to reassert itself in the competitive high-resolution market. If the company delivers on even most of the rumored features, the Z73 could become a landmark model for still photographers who demand the very best image quality without the added bulk of flagship sports cameras. Of course, the timing is critical. If Nikon delays too long, loyal users may be tempted to switch to brands that already offer strong high-resolution options. For some photographers, the Z73 will represent an irresistible upgrade that stretches their budgets. For others, it will feel like a long-overdue answer to years of waiting. Either way, the stakes are high. With its rumored 67MP sensor, AI-powered autofocus, hybrid video capabilities, advanced stabilization, and improved usability, the Nikon Z73 could emerge as one of the most significant cameras in Nikon's modern lineup. It is not just about keeping up with the competition, it's about redefining what a high-resolution mirrorless camera can be in 2025 and beyond.